Hello friends, welcome to the Power System Experts YouTube channel. Our today's lecture on how to save the progress output of, of our PA power flow solution. So you can say that how to create save your power flow solution report in PSSC. So for this, let's open PSSC. So in PSSC, the first you need to open your case for which you need to in basically save your summary. So now you can see that the case is open. So in order to first see the output report, so first solve your case. Like here you can see that the solve. And most important thing is that you, are, you can see different solution options are also available. So with respect to different solution options, you need a, a progress report in your any text or any another file other than this report. So solve your case. So here you can see that when you solve your case, so the steps with and also the solutions with respect to different iterations are saved in this progress report. So for example, if you are interested to basically see the report with the tap adjustment is stepping. So when you click on this solve, so if is there a, if if any transformer that is basically added in with respect on the auto tab changer, so then all the report, all report is saved in this tab, like in the progress report. But if you are, this is for the small like small networks, so if you are working on a larger network in which there are different auto transformers are added and also there are different components are added and you are interested to see that what changes have been made during the solution and also you need to what changes you are basically uh, need to in include after your solution. So for that purpose you go to input output control button. So here you can see that there is an option available that is direct progress output that is also called PDAP. So click on this. So here you can see that the progress output destination is different. So you can give directly to printers, you can to the report device and also you can save into file. So for example, select this file because we are interested to save our progress report and after that definitely we will in include and incorporate those changes with respect to this. So this is mostly required when you are converting a case from one software to another software. Like for example, if you have converted a case from PSLF to PSSE, and in that case, at the start of your case, like you, you are not definitely you will not solve your case. First, you will give this path folder and then you will solve. It will give you the exact progress of your the, the case that is converted in PSLM. So after that, so mean what changes you are you have mean in, added and you can get the convergence of your case. So that's very important. So therefore, you need to save your uh, progress output file using this and give this any name to the progress. So for example, this is pdev and click OK and the the output line per pages to you can increase to tetra 9 la, la, is here and then here you can see that if you are if you are uh, you already have a file exist and you need to append your file that will be you can check here but uh, initially this is our first file so therefore no need to check this person. So here and then click on OK. So here you can see that no progress output is available here in output bar because you have selected file button. So for file, you need to go to the file. So initially, yes, here and that also the say in input output because in the path file is very important. So in, it was given in the example and pdev that text. So we can change this path also. So for example, I'm interested in to save at this desktop and then again, okay, and also solve my case again. So here you can see that this is PDF available. So I mean the report that is, this is all because this is a, a smaller network. So you get the convergence within one iteration. There's no other information. So I mean, you, you reach to a solution in one iteration. Otherwise, for, uh, working on a larger network, especially when you are converting a uh, case from one software to another, like mostly from PSCAD to PSSE or from Dixilin to PSSE and from PSLF to PSSE. So you need to save your progress in uh, output because after that you need to do some changes 
so that you can get the convergence so for that you can compare your uh, next report with the previous report said how you uh, how what changes you have done to get the convergence so you can save these changes and you can say uh, share uh, uh, share these and next important thing is that if you are interested to get the summary of all your case uh, of a uh, complete uh, case with respect to buses and all that so that is you can do the, your python scripting so that uh, definitely in the next series of lecture we will do how to create a progress output report of all of your network with respect to buses branches load and tie line flows that will using python scripting so this is the uh, how we can create and save the progress report of our pssc case